Good morning, everyone. Just wanted to come on this morning and share some of my some of my uh, rules in life uh, with you this morning. Uh, yesterday, I realized I, I I kept you guys too long yesterday because I know that people are getting up in the morning and they're moving around and they're trying to get out the house. But I apologize for that. <laughs> I just got excited yesterday, um, as I do when I'm coming on in the mornings, and uh, but it escalates sometimes uh, when I start talking uh, to you guys and, and sharing and sharing what God places on my heart to share as words of inspiration and encouragement. And the beauty of that is that these words are directed by Him through me. Uh, you know, just guiding my direction, you know, ordering my steps. So, you know, I just, uh, I do as I'm told. <laughs> I think that's something all of us need to get in that mindset. Just just do as you're told. We, we don't have to argue about it. We don't have to, we don't have to stay right there too long. <laughs> but what he reminds me of all the time is that Electra, I have plans for you. I have plans to prosper you. And so when you keep that, his word hidden in your heart, you won't go wrong. He said, not only to me, but to you as well. Hey, I have plans for you. I have plans to prosper you. And so on this morning, I kind of want to share with you about some of with some of my rules in life as I have went through life different things have strengthened me to keep in the forefront of this frontal lobe of mine <laughs> to keep it there at the forefront to help keep me grounded as I go through life the same thing for you as you go through life, is some things in life you need to write down because that becomes a part of the rules in your life. See, I'm yesterday I shared two rules in my life. I'm gonna share some more this morning. Remember, number one, you have to always remember. I say these things to myself. And I live by them to the best of my ability because that's a part of my foundation. And we all need to put some rules of life in our own life and just sit down and think about those things that you've lived by for years and you pass them on to your children and your children's children. And that's what I do. I have done it since my daughter and into uh, my grandkids, this is a rule of life. This is one of my rules. You'll, you'll figure out your own rules for your life, not for somebody else, for your own life. Because there's some things that you got to get used to living by, which are positive in your life in order that you can keep moving no matter what the world says. So remember yesterday I was sharing two rules of my life with you guys. Remember, you're the only one you're stuck with. You're the only one that you're stuck with. You're not stuck with nobody else, but you are stuck with yourself. So therefore, guess what? You try to be the best person that you can be. Don't let nobody shake your foundation. Don't let nobody change you and make you feel guilty for being who you are. Don't do that. Because if you don't realize that I am only stuck with myself, I'm the only person I'm stuck with. You will build a stronger foundation. And another thing, you will learn to appreciate you. See, sometimes we want everybody else to appreciate us. Learn first. Number one thing is to appreciate yourself. Okay? Because you stuck with you. 
Number two, I was telling y'all another, another rule in my life is to treat others as, as you want to be treated. See, because one rule falls off of the other, or it reminds you of the other. First of all, you cannot, listen to me closely, you cannot appreciate that you are only stuck with you in, in life, that you're the only person you stuck with. If you can't recognize that and realize that and operate out of that, how in the world are you going to know how to treat other people? See, that's why it's so easy sometimes for people to mistreat you. Because you don't identify with who you are. Good morning, Elton May. Good morning. You have to recognize and appreciate who you are before you can even get out there and talk about loving somebody else. Because you got to love you first. See, I would be afraid of somebody that don't know how to love themselves or choose not to because then anybody else that comes in their life become an idol and that can be dangerous. So learn, first of all, you're the only person you stuck with. And because you're the only person you stuck with, you don't mind treating somebody else the way that you would love to be treated. See, that's the beauty of it. Then those are rules in my life. I have many rules. I want to share another rule in my life with you that I use in my own life. Never own somebody else's behavior. Never own somebody else's behavior. You might say, what do you mean by that? My rule is, if I start owning your behavior, you get to be free in treating me any kind of way you want to treat me. I'm just not going to let you do that. I'm not going to let you do I'm not going to allow you to live up here rent free. See, when you own other people's behavior, and most of the times what I'm talking about is bad behavior. When you own that, when somebody come along and do things to you and deliberately do things to you to hurt and destroy you, that's, that's their attempt. Okay, because you know that it's there. Because God don't leave you in the blind. It's sometimes we choose to, to not want to identify with stuff and not believe that the real is real. I'm still having bad hair days. <laughs> forgive me. Y'all forgive me. But anyway, we're going to get through that too. But to own somebody else's behavior is to say that your feelings don't matter when you know that they do. When somebody do things to hurt you, don't put that ball in your court. Don't find yourself trying to figure out how to make them stop. Because that's their behavior. Let them own their own behavior. Nothing you can do about that. Because you're going to kill yourself trying to correct others who don't want to be corrected. We live in a real world, y'all. We deal, we deal with all kinds of people. In this world, you're going to deal with all kinds of people. But you got to know. You got enough weight in life to carry without trying to carry the weight of this world. You got, to, you got to remember that. Who are you? What do you stand for? Because if not, you're going to walk around with the world on your shoulder. And everybody's going to dump, dump they, they garbage in your mind. And you know better than that. That's just like how would you let your neighbor come along and put their garbage in your trash can? You wouldn't allow that. So when you, what I'm saying by that, what I'm saying is the fact that you don't own somebody else's behavior, that's their behavior. Because if you do, you're allowing them to put their trash 
in your trash can. In other words, to put they garbage in your brain and you start operating out of that, don't make no sense. Don't make no sense at all. Another rule that I have, okay, I got several rules. <laughs> you got some too. Just think about them. Just think about rules that you live by in life. And if you've been living long enough, you got some rules. Find peace with knowing who you are. You got to, you got to find peace with knowing who you are. Not with how other people define you. Not how other people or who other people say you are. You have to find peace with who you are. Always find peace with you. That's a rule. That's one of my rules. These rules apply to me. They my rules. They things that I had to, in life, live by to keep myself grounded. Another rule I have in life Guess what? Keep yourself around people that help to keep you grounded. Let me say that again. See, because sometimes we just want to be people around people just to be around people. We don't know nothing about them. We don't want to know nothing. We just want them to be around us and want, and want to be around them in our mental. I'm telling you, that one of my rules, another one of my rules, is to electric place yourself around people that want to help to keep you grounded. Because sometimes the ground underneath you will shake. The ground underneath you will crack. You know why? Because trials and tribulations are going to come. You're not going to get away from that. But you know what? When your trials come, they there. When your tribulations come, they're there. When you want to throw in the towel, they're there. You know why? Because you built a foundation with people who want to help keep you grounded. You do that with your children. You do that with your children's children. You do that, you know, you do that with friends and other family members. And you, sh and you should expect the same thing. To be able to be around people, not people that's in competition with you, not people that's trying to make you feel like you, you, you never at your best. People that want to keep you grounded, you keep yourself around those people because they want to see you grow. They don't want to see you fall apart. Another rule I have in life, listen to me. I'm not going to be on here long this morning because I kept y'all too long yesterday. I want to share this with you this morning and then I'm going to get off. Find that happy space in your mental. Okay? Find that happy space in your mental and move in. Find that happy space in your mental and move in. You got to move into your happy space. You got you to gotta not allow people to consume you so much that you are afraid to live and be the best person that you are, that you can be. Find that happy space in your mental and move in. I don't know how many times I can say this. And I have lived by it. That you have to find that happy space. Because if not, life will break you down. People know when you're just pretending. People know when you're not being real with yourself. And if you can't be real with yourself, how are you going to be real with other people? Let me tell you something. I ain't got no problem saying Look, I'm having a bad day today. Not a bad day. I'm having a bad moment. Because I, I, I believe that you don't allow yourself no more than 15 minutes to let a situation get you in a bad 
place. Because if you go over them 15 minutes, it's pretty much going to consume your entire day. And if you're not careful, it's going to consume your entire life. Find that happy space in your mental and move in. And move in. Because life is too short to be sitting up, dragging ourselves down all the time. Trying to be make-believe characters when everybody else know. See, we got this problem. We don't want people to know that we not all right. Well, you know what one of my rules is? It's all right to say you not all right. It's okay to say you not okay. But it's not okay to stay right there. That's what's not okay. We all have to grow up. In life, everything is not going to be uh, 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 howdy, howdy, goodbye. You know, all these things that we say in passing. Sometimes you got to say, I'm not okay. But don't stay there. You allow your 15 minutes of yourself to go to whatever it is and move on. Because I'm telling you, I've seen people do it. They stay in that uncomfortable place so long. That's who they become. They don't do nothing else. They don't, they don't move forward in life. Everything is a negative. All this life out here. Good morning, Joanne. All this life out here. All this land out here. God got a big backyard back there. And all you can do is sit down and be sad. And look at the negative things in life. We all experience some things in life that's not so comfortable for us. It's just not. And that's going to happen. But you can't allow that stuff to consume you. Because that stuff will stick with you. And you'll be like that for the rest of your life. And it will make you become a person that you don't want to be. And I'm not saying I'm all that. Don't get me wrong. I grieve like other people. I really do. I, I, I have moments. Like, that's why I don't like to call it bad days. I see it as a bad moment. That I've got to get past that. And I can only like, allow myself to stay in that so long. Out of a day, 15 minutes, I got to keep moving. It's some people depending on you. It's some people need you. It's some people that you are inspiring, encouraging their lives. You're strengthening to their lives. And you, don't you might never meet these people. But you know what? If you Debbie Downer all the time, people will get away from you. So you got to learn how to find that happy space in your mental and move on. And move on. Even if you do it one day at a time. Do it for yourself. Because whether you want to believe it or not. Your life is impacting more people than you know. So if you are walking around with your head down. Pick yourself up. Hold your head up. Find that happy space and move on. Move into that happy space. Just like you move into a house or an apartment or wherever. Move into that happy space in your mental. Because your mental is screaming for it. Help me. See, until you can do that for yourself, you can't help nobody else. You can't help your children. You can't help your friends. You can't help your grandchildren. You can't even help a stranger. Because you stuck right there in that situation. When scripture says trials and tribulations, they going to happen. They coming. Oh, you're going to go down in the valley sometime. You're not going to always be on the mountaintop. But one thing about it, don't allow what's happening 
to consume you. Some people still stuck in something that happened 10, 15 years ago and they can't get out of it. You know why? Because they never find that happy space in their mental and move in there. And move in there. Everybody has a moment in time where it seemed like the bottom just just dropped out. Like, like it just, just, just dropped from underneath you. But you know what? We all handle that thing different. It happens to all of us. But it's, it's, it's not that it's go, not going to happen. It's when it happens. What are you going to do about it? See, because one of my rules in life, and remember, this don't have to apply to you. I'm talking about myself, my rules. You got some. Is when your back is up against the wall. I've told my daughter this. I've told many people this. But I tell my daughter these rules all the time. Look here. I tell my grandson. I tell my little granddaughter. Hey, when your back is up against the wall, you don't slide down the wall. You find a way to get off of that wall. Because see, God got some angels back there that's going to keep you from sliding down that wall. He got some angels back there. That's why your problems, your situations in life, your issues in life haven't taken you out right now. The only reason why they haven't taken you down because he got some angels back there. He don't want you on that wall because he know that the natural you will get on that wall and just sit on that wall and just slide down that wall. Uh-uh. Get, get your back off of that wall. Get your back off of that wall. Stand up straight. Stop bending so people can ride your back. See, people can't ride your back. And, and I told my niece this one time my, uh, uh, when she graduated, first graduated from high school. I said, baby, only reason why people ride your back because you keep bending. They can't ride your back if you don't bend over. You giving them a back to ride on. Then you gotta get you can you got to stand up straight. And people don't mind riding your back. So you gotta stop bending. You gotta stop allowing people to make you bend, to bend you in a position where they can ride your back. Stand up straight. And any of the young people in my family will tell you. And I tell them. Hey, let you been some places. That's why I can tell you in life. I've been through some things. I don't want you to go through that. I don't want you to handle that like that. See, when I was younger, when I was young and didn't know better. See, I did what I thought I knew. But as I got older and I began to know better, I started doing better. And that's what you got to do. Because you got to keep yourself around some people that help keep you grounded. You got to put position yourself around people that don't want to ride your back. They trying to help you stand up and keep going. You got to stop pushing out people that's in your life that's helping to keep you grounded because other words, you're going to keep pushing people away and then people are going to be afraid to even come into your life, especially if you allow your life to consume you because you don't identify with the fact that guess what? You the only one that you stuck with. You the only one you stuck with. So you might as well be the best person you can be. Be the best person that you can be. You got a whole life. It's up to you to choose how you want to live it. Are you going to live it like it's not worth nothing? Or are you going to live like you're going to live to your highest potential? Because guess what? However you live, you are teaching children to live that way. Those who are coming up behind you. So that's my talk for this morning. I pray that it inspire you and encourage you. I'm not going to keep y'all like I kept y'all too long on yesterday. 
<laughs> but I enjoyed the moment. I really did the inspirational talk, and I pray that it inspired you as you went throughout your day. But I, I just wanted to share some of my rules in life with you this morning. And before I get off of here, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this this morning. God has plans for you. And his plan is to prosper you. So guess what? Your responsibility is to find, to find a happy space and move in there. All right? Y'all have a wonderful day. Okay. I'm going to finish getting ready for work. Bye-bye. <laughs>